Thanks, Gary. For those of you who haven't come across me before, my name is Anthony Caravaggi. I was on Parrots uh, a few videos ago. Um, I'm a conservation biologist at the University of South Wales, uh, where I study mainly birds and mammals, although I'm in interested in pretty much everything. Um, try to figure out where they go, what they do, and how we can help them persist in the future. In this video, I want to talk to you about ferrets. Uh, the ferret is a domesticated variety of the European polecat, Mustela putorius, uh, a member of the mustelid family native to Europe and North America. Ferrets were originally domesticated to hunt rabbits and small rodents, as their thin, elongated bodies are ideal fit fitting into rabbit burrows and holes in the ground. They were brought to the, over to the UK by the Romans in the first century, but did not become popular as pets until the 1960s. Appropriately, for a species which has a scientific name that means angry smelly weasel, ferrets do fart. Although that is not where they get their name. Ferrets have anal glands which produce a very strong odour. These are often removed in pets to, to prevent them smelling too strongly. This smell is only amplified by the pungent bouts of flatulence they regularly emit, especially during defecation and when stressed. Ferrets often surprise themselves with their own farts, and owners often report a confused look on their pet's face in the direction of their backside after they audibly pass gas. When ferrets are scared, they will scream, puff themselves up, fart, and defecate simultaneously. I had to think some people put them down their trousers. So, uh, that was ferrets. Um, next up, we have Laura McHenry, who will be talking about seals and sea lions.